Okay, so this is how you can take your adaptive component and then place it onto the lines. Um, first, I've created my adaptive component and it's based off four points which will attach to the four locations at the end of each of these lines. To create them so that they repeat along, I'm going to select all four lines, divide their path, that puts the dots on them. You can control the number of dots here. Six, let's do ten. See there's more dots. It rearranged. It did it to them all. I typically put that as a parameter. So then just by click this little silver dot, brings up this menu. Add a parameter. Divide. That way I can control it from the properties, the family type properties. Say this. And from here, I can jump in. I can say twenty and it'll apply it to all of them without me having to click or select them. I can just do it on the fly. Hitting apply lets me see it. Okay, so now I've already loaded my family in. It's family number one, it's four-sided family. When I'm placing this, what I have to make sure is that when I'm hovering that it reads down here where it says click to place. Notice as when I hover over this point it says point of divided path. That's the crucial thing. You want to make sure you're getting that, not a reference point, not a line endpoint. You want the point of divided path. Otherwise, it won't repeat properly. So then I just place them one, two, three, four. It's done. I'm going to hit escape. Hit escape again to get out of the command. So with it in place, for it to repeat, there's the repeat command up in the modify panel. Click that, and it goes all the way down. That's relatively civil easy and it worked. I'm going to undo this back a little bit. What often happens is some of these curves are drawn on the opposite direction. I drew all of these going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, left to right. But if I had drawn them, possibly one going the opposite direction like this right now going right to left, I can still divide it. I can apply that property by clicking on the dot. I can just select divide. Now let's try it. So just to recall, these are all going one direction and this was drawn in the opposite. They both have the same number of points, no problems there. But when I draw my adaptive component and I do the repeat, there's only one component of the repeater. That thing's that's the error that's causing the problem. I'm going to show you why that's causing a problem. When you click on this, click on the divided path you can turn on show node numbers. I want to do that for all of mine. Now I notice I got a lot of things besides just the divided paths, but I can drop down and choose divided path and change its properties. Turn on that node. So now when I click on it, I can see one all the way to ten. This one, one all the way to ten, one all the way to ten, and this one's ten all the way to one. So what I try to do as a rule of thumb is just have all of the ones closest to me or farthest away from me just be consistent. So in this case these ones are already closer towards me so I just need to flip the direction of this path. I do not need to redraw it. I can just click the flip direction in the properties. So when I pull away now one's closest to me. Let's reapply that. Four. Escape. Escape again. Now I run repeat works just like before. And again, best part about this is everything's adaptive. I move a point, it adjusts and readjusts for everything. And that point went way into space. So it's always fun how you can it'll look right in this view. When you pull out, it's completely different. So that's how you can do the adaptive components.